All right, boys and girls, get out your next lesson. Now, I noticed on it that up on the top, it says lesson eight, fluency, but that's just the sprint. That's just the sprint line you do. It actually went with lesson eight. But if you turn the page, you'll see that it says lesson 10. So that's the one we're on today. It says Monday. That's because we got behind a little. That's okay. So this is the one we're on today. The front says eight fluency, but the problem set says 10. It has some turtles on it. So find this one, and we'll get to that in just a second. Um, when I was grading your, your quizzes yesterday, I noticed something. So I just want to talk to you about it for a minute. There's a lot of students who got confused about one thing. Now, okay, so I drew an equal sign here on my board. Let's turn it this way. We're going to draw an equal sign. Let's just talk about an equal sign for a minute. Ah, very good. An equal sign means that it's going to be the same amount on this side of the equal sign as it is on that side. So, for example, if I had five dogs and my friend had five dogs, we would have the same amount of dogs. They would be equal. And for something to be equal, it has to have the same amount on this side of the equal sign and on this side of the equal sign. So let me show you a couple more and see if they're equal or not equal. Let's see really quick here. Okay. So here is an ice cream cone and another ice cream cone. Good. So there's two ice cream cones on this side. There's also two ice cream cones on this side. Is that equal? Yeah, because there's two over here and there's two over there. If there's two on both sides, we can say that they are equal. So we gotta pay close attention to the equal sign because the equal sign helps us be able to make sure that the same amount is on this side as is on this side. Right, let me just show you some of your, the equation that I saw that a lot of people got messed up on was something like this. We had a number bond of eight, six, and two. I'm having a hard time focusing here. Okay, there we go. And then it said make an equation, but they kind of tricked you because they put the equal sign here and they said, this plus this equals this. Here's what my friends did. They just took the eight, they just started with this, and they said six, two, eight. But is that a true statement? Look at it, eight plus two, does that equal six? No, so you have to pay attention to where the equal sign is. The answer, or the big number can be on this side of the equal sign, or it can be on that side of the equal sign. And so the important thing is that on both sides of the equal sign, it has to be exactly be the same number. So if I put six and two over here, then I know that six plus two more, seven, eight, six plus two does equal eight. So we have to put the eight on this side of the equation, and say that this equals six plus two. Okay, so watch that closely because they'll try to trick you. They'll put the whole number over on the left side, or sometimes, quite often times, they'll put the whole number over on the right side. Both of these are correct answers. Eight equals six plus two, or six plus two equals eight. Can you see that? Okay. So pay close attention to that. I think on your homework today, there's another example of that. So be sure you watch closely and make sure the whole number is by itself on one side of the equal sign, and the two parts that equal the whole number are on the other side, okay? Okay, you may go ahead and take out your 
sprint, what we call it. You can time yourself for 90 seconds and do it, or you can just do the whole sheet. Go ahead and stop the video and do your sprint right now. And when you're ready, you can start it again. And let's take a look at some other. So now I'm gonna move on. So again, stop the video if you're still working on your sprint. Sorry, let me pull up my lesson plan here. All right, in today's, we're gonna talk about another story problem. And if you wanna get out your whiteboard, you can do it along with me and see if you can figure it out even before I figure it out. The class is collecting canned foods to help those in need. The teacher brings in three cans to start the collection. On Monday, Becky brings in two cans, and on Tuesday, Talia brings in two cans, and on Wednesday, Brand Brandon brings in two cans. How many cans were there at the end of each day? So here's the way that we could solve that. On the first day, the teacher brought in three cans. So I could draw my picture and put three. But on Monday then, uh, Becky brought in two cans. So these are the ones that Becky brought in. Drawing really helps us so we can see. Now we already had three, so let's count on four, five. So we know that on Monday, we had five cans. Then on Tuesday, Talia brought in two more cans. So let's draw those cans. Here's Tuesday's cans. We're at five, so let's count on six, seven. So now on the end of Tuesday, we had seven cans. On Wednesday, Brandon brought, Brandon brought in two more cans. What do you think I'm gonna put there? You're right, after seven comes eight. Eight, nine. So at Monday, we had five. Then we had Tuesday seven, and then three, th Wednesday we had nine, All right? And the whole number that we had together was nine. All right, we can erase that. Today we're gonna look at some more story problems and use pictures to help us solve. Go ahead and open up your packet to our problem set. Trying to look around and see what pens I have. Okay, I'll just use my big black pen, that's okay. All right, use the picture in to write the number sentence and the number bond. So first we have to make up our own story. It says blank little turtles plus blank big turtles equals all together how many turtles? So what are we gonna put? One, two, three, four. Four little turtles plus three big turtles equals, now some of you might already know the answer to that without counting it up. If you do, go ahead and put the answer. If you need to count it up, here's what I suggest. Say the biggest number and then count on. Ready? Say four, five, six, seven. All together we have seven turtles. So our whole amount of turtles is seven. Seven is divided up into four small turtles and three large turtles. If we did an equation, we could say seven equals four plus three, or we could say four plus three equals seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's look at number two. This one says blank dogs that are awake plus blank dogs sleep equals all together how many dogs there are. Count up how many dogs you see awake. Did you put five? If you did, you are right. How many dogs are sleeping? Did you put four? Put 
big number in your head and count on, say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did Mrs. Pepper make a mistake? She did, she counted too fast. She was trying to get a drink of water and look at how many dogs there were at the same time. So, is it okay if we make mistakes? Of course it is, even Mrs. Pepper makes mistakes. So we're gonna cross it out and we're gonna put, oh, she was wrong. There were five dogs sleeping. I looked at it too closely, too fast. But when I counted it up, I realized my mistake because I knew that five plus five equals 10 and I got to 10. So that's a good way to check to see if you have the right answers. So now we're gonna put 10 there and let's see how we do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put 10 there and we're going to put 5. And 5. And if you've been practicing your doubles on IXL, you'll notice that right away a double is 5 plus 5 equals 10. So our big number is 10. Blank pigs not in the mud plus blank pigs in the mud equals how many pigs altogether? So I'll look at it more carefully this time. These are the ones that are not in the mud. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Five pigs are not in the mud. How many pigs are in the mud? Two. Two pigs are in the mud. Count on from five, say five, six, seven. All together, there are seven pigs. That's our whole number. So our number bond is, our whole number is seven. Five that aren't in the mud. And two that are in the mud. Five plus two equals seven. That was a sum and some more problem, wasn't it? All these have been some and some more problems. When you hear some and then you want to add some more to it, we know that those are addition problems. And so all the problems we've been doing today are adding. We're adding some and then some more. Let me take a look at the back here. Let's see if we didn't make too big a mess with that black pen. A little bit hard to see. Okay. We're going to draw a line from, to match the five group cards. Remember, five group cards are ones that we try to group the, if there's five, we put it together. So this five group card has five, count on six, seven. So we want to see one that has five plus two. Does this one have five plus two? I can see five sheep there and two more, oh, three more. That does not have five plus two. Look at this one. You have one, two, three, four fish looking one way and three looking the other. That is not five plus two either. Let's look at the apples and bananas. One, two, three, four, five. I see five apples. I see one, two bananas. Ah, there's a match. Five plus two. Here's our next five group card. This one just has two. And two more, that's a doubles, right? Two plus two. Do you see a picture that shows two plus two? Yeah, look at these basketball players. These two are shooting and these two are dribbling. So that looks like two and two. Here's five and three. Ah, do you remember which one had five and three? I saw it right here, five plus three. So I'm gonna go ahead and go draw a line to that one. And this one is five, and oops, I did that one, four plus three. Here's our fish, four fish and three fish. So we know that that one goes here. Okay, let's turn it over. Here's your exit ticket. Let me just show, talk to you about your exit ticket for a minute. We're going to draw and show the story. There are three large balls and four small balls. So when we draw the pictures first, and then we're going to do an equation with it, and then 
we're going to make a statement. When we make a statement, we use words like, how many balls are there? There are blank balls. So you have to make that statement, there are blank balls. That's gonna be the same answer as how many it equals. So this question, this square right here will be the same number as how many balls there are, okay? On number two, you're gonna circle a set of tiles that match your picture. Circle the set of tiles that match your picture. They're talking about this picture, the one that you drew up here. So you have to take and look at this one. Does this one match your story? Or does this one match your story? Whichever one matches the story about the balls, then just circle it, okay? And that's your exit ticket today. Now I was telling you about this homework. If you look at this homework closely, you'll see that this equation is set up with blank plus blank equals the whole amount. That's a lot of times what we see, but sometimes we see it the other way like right here. This one, whole number equals blank plus blank. And guess what, it's still right. It doesn't matter if you have the blank, if the plus amount is on this side of the equals, or if it's on this side of the equal. Just as long as the whole number is by itself, and the two parts that equal it are together. Okay, so don't get tricked on this one. Pay attention to that whole number it goes over in this box. All right, good luck at getting your homework done and your um, exit ticket done. Do write your name on your exit ticket, that helps me a lot. And um, have fun. And we will see you, let's see if I can, I'm always going to get this thing to stop. Visualizer, great. There we go. All right. See you later.